Hey, what's up? This is Brandon. I'm going to be walking you through an awesome build guide for an 8-core machine that has 16 gigabytes of RAM and an R9290 graphics card. Now, this is an awesome build for gaming and video editing. So if you want to do either of those or both, then stick around for this guide. This guide, this PC is going to use an AMD FX 8320 Vachera 8-core processor that runs at 3.5 GHz and Turbo Core boosts up to 4 GHz. This is a 125 watt desktop processor which is very energy efficient so if you're going to be using it for a long time it'll save you money on your electricity bill. Next, oh and it has 8 gigabytes of L3 cache and it only comes in at $149.99 which is a very good deal for 8 core for an 8 core processor. Next is the G-Skill Sniper Gaming Series 16GB 2x8GB RAM kit. Now this is a very good RAM kit. It has a cast latency of 10 and a voltage of 1.5 volts. And this runs at 1866MHz, which is a very good speed. This is a very good RAM. And uh, I selected it in, in uh, two 8 gigabyte uh, DIMMs or sticks so that uh, you could upgrade in the future up to 32 gigabytes of RAM if you need it for video editing or for anything else you need. Now next is the NZXT uh, Phantom Red, White, and Finish case and uh, this case is a lot more extravagant than its cost it's a very good looking case and uh, it'll give you a lot of good use out of it and uh, it's uh, just a very nice looking case in it and it screams a lot more value or a lot more price than it is so that's always good you could always go with a cheaper case if you want so that you can get a better GPU or a CPU if that it tickles your fancy. But next is the, and that it comes in at $119.99. Next is the EVGA 600 watt 80 plus bronze certified uh, power supply. This is a very good power supply. You don't ever want to skimp when it comes to the power supplies because if it has a oh, it has a uh, overvolt or uh, it has a a defect in it and it blows out, then it can take your uh, north bridge of your of your motherboard and your CPU and your GPU with it. So never you never want to get a cheap one uh, because that increases the odds of that happening. Uh, so it's worth it to spend a little bit more and uh, get something that is uh, less likely to overvolt and uh, short out your other hardware. And that comes in at $39.99 after mail-in rebate, which is a very good price for this power supply. Next is the Gigabyte motherboard. Now this motherboard is if I can get it to go there this motherboard is a four slot motherboard and uh, it it can hold four RAM sticks which is really good for this price of fifty nine dollars and ninety nine cents it only comes with a one GPU slot in it it can only support one gpu graphics card but if you want to have more graphics cards then uh, spend a little bit more money and buy a better motherboard and that'll give you that functionality anyways the next item is the seagate barracuda hard drive and it, it comes in at one terabyte and it's fifty dollars and ninety nine cents now you can always spend a little bit more money and get something that is uh, higher has a higher 
uh, more memory for your needs if you need that. But I have a one terabyte hard drive and it seems to be suiting all my needs just fine. And if you're somebody that uh, deletes your, your games once you've finished them, then you probably don't need anything bigger than a one terabyte hard drive. Next is the MSI Radeon R9 290 graphics card. This card has 4 gigabytes of VRAM in it, and uh, it's a very good graphics card for the price. And after mail and rebate, it's $259.99, which is a very good steal for this graphics card. I would highly suggest this one or a uh, GTX 970. That's what I would suggest. But anyway, uh, that's, that's almost, we're almost the end. The next thing is uh, Windows 7 or Windows 8 operating system. You can get it for $99.99 and uh, it's eligible for a free Windows 10 upgrade upon availability. And this Windows 7, I would highly recommend it over Windows 8 because uh, it, it, for games especially, it just seems like it works a little bit better. Uh, Windows 8, uh, they have had a little bit higher uh, frame rate on the Windows 8 uh, computers that are running the same specs uh, compared to the Windows 7 computer, but uh, its interface is a little bit more simple and user-friendly. Uh, I have Windows 7 and I, I like it a lot. I like it better than Windows 8, which I've had in the past. Uh, Windows 8 seems to have been built for uh, more so uh, more so tablets and things like that than it was for desktops. But Windows 8.1 is a lot better than the original Windows 8. So you could get Windows 8 for ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. And uh, that's also eligible for a free Windows 10 upgrade upon availability. This is the end of the build guide. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you want to switch over to the Intel side for your CPU, I would suggest getting an Intel Core i5 if you're just going to be playing games. But if you're going to be doing video editing, then I would suggest a Core i7 because that works a little bit better than the i5 when it comes to video editing because of its hyper-threading. But anyway, uh, I use a Core i5 for my video editing and that seems to work just fine. So if you go with an i5 instead of an i7, that will work just as well. Uh, anyway, that's all I've got to say. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more tech and uh, PC builds in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.